Ian and Gina, thank you. Now it is time to shift gears because today may be rainy or cloudy, but that does not mean, Scott, that we cannot shine a light on local business bright as the sun. That is so true, and it's something we love to do every week, and Jamie is always there for us. She's showing some love over at a Valley Boutique on a mission to make a difference in the world. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Scotty, darling, you are a work of art. And hey, Liv. In a field of roses, she is a wildflower. This is some of the <laughs> gems that you'll find right here. <laughs> you like that? Uh, at Redemption Market, Rhonda Labatt is the owner here, and she has an interesting story about how she started her business. But Rhonda, first of all, tell us what you're doing here because you're a local business with a global cause. Yeah, so we're Redemption Market. We are based in Chandler, but we have a shop here in Scottsdale at the Merchantile. And also we sell at the downtown Phoenix Farmers Market, so you can find us in multiple, multiple locations. But we are a fair trade ethical boutique, so each one of these products supports a different cause. We are working with women rescued from trafficking, helping them get back on their feet. We are working with sustainable and fair trade programs, refugees here in the United States, all different programs, but each one has a different special meaning behind it. I've been stocking one of your leather bags that I will be <laughs> leaving with today on the gram. You have beautiful things that you have curated with causes, but tell us about your background. Yes. Because you're a teacher? Yeah, definitely. I used to be a Spanish teacher. I taught here in the Valley, and then at one point we adopted a daughter from Peru when she was oh, 10 wow. and kind of pivoted and I started Redemption Market as a side business, a, a side hustle, yeah. shall we say, and um, I am a solopreneur. It's just me, um, but I really had a heart for um, these different causes and especially trafficking and um, wanted to do something and I felt like so many people want to make a difference but don't really know how and, and if you, you are making it so easy yeah. because we can buy some cute bag like that Phoenix bag go ahead and grab that Phoenix bag behind you because that bag has a story you know it caught my eye Tell <laughs> Phoenix, me about it. definitely so what's cool about this bag obviously it supports this local business if you purchase it here, it supports the Merchantile, which is this beautiful um, indoor marketplace in Scottsdale with over 70 vendors. And then also it supports two other causes. So it was handcrafted in Bangladesh in a women's co-op. So women who don't really have much opportunity and especially hit hard during the pandemic. And then um, also it supports... Uh, an organization in LA called Homeboy Industries, working with young men who are incarcerated, starting a new life. So really supporting four different things with just one simple bag. And you, and your and local me. business. And she's got three girls all headed to college, two of them Sun Devils. Uh, so thank you so much. You are located inside the Merchantile. This is in Old Town Scottsdale, the heart of it. Uh, like Rhonda said, there are some 80 vendors in here, so if you want to support local, this is a great place to check out. Plus, you want to see the bag I'm walking away with? I text my sister, I do, I want this tote or this tote. This is a game that we like to play. She said the half moon. This one's coming with, you take Venmo? Good choice. Oh. Venmo. Venmo, Redemption yes. Redemption Market. Well, Good to know. You like it, Liv? I Put love Jamie it. Jamie in a room with purses, handbags, dangerous. I love it. She I needs know. it. Scott, she needs it. I am known as the bag lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jamie.